hit the smash button. That's a smash button? That's what you do? Yeah. You One time I said hit the smash button and then I was like, that doesn't even make sense. Okay. Make sure you hit that smash button. No, that smash button. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. <laughs> So now it's a trademark. That's a trademark. Yeah. Smash point. Got yeah. It. Mm, interesting. I love millennials. <laughs> Franco, could you give me more, more wires, bro? Oh. Just gonna. Just gonna just roll around like this. So we had our secretary Tiffany. She called me while I was up upstairs in the office. She let me know that uh, we had a customer looking for me. They had seen a bunch of the YouTube videos and screenshot my, my face. So they said they wanted to talk to me. So I came down, they had a Rolls Royce and a G-Wagon. And they actually drove down from New York. And so a couple days later, we've got it right here. So they're only in Miami for about two or three weeks, but they wanted something readily available for the Rolls Royce. We had a set of 24 inch HRE S204s in full polish. It looks great. I've, we're gonna go to the warehouse now and show you guys. But then we're also doing a little bit of a caliper change. And Eddie's, Eddie's drooling over my, my camera skills and recording skills, right Eddie? Nope. Yeah. He still me a bottle. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to capture it, but there is a lot of orange flake in this paint job. And then he has this orange pinstripe as well. So what we're doing is we're gonna re remove the calipers, which as you see, as you see, Marcel's already done so. And we're gonna be re-changing, re or refinishing, as I say, re-changing, refinishing to the orange. So it's funny this says Brembo BMW. Since they are the owners of Rolls Royce. But it's gonna look really, really good. It's gonna try and match a little bit of this right here. And then it ties everything together. Now let's go. Uh, let's go search for the tree wheels. How many comments? How many comments are we gonna get that my that my fighting posture sucks? <laughs> so, so I had Roberto. It's me, your daddy, Roberto. Pull out the wheels the other day. These are, this box is actually still pulled down from when I showed them the wheels that we had in stock. And of course, gave them a great deal since they're here in Miami for a short time. I wanted them to head back to New York in style. Didn't want to lower the car just because of the roads in New York, but I think it's still going to look good, especially with the caliper respray. Here they are. Full polished HRES 204s. Three piece wheel. It's hard to tell just because all the finishes are the same for the outer lip, the inner barrel and the center face and the hidden hardware. I'm actually gonna pull this out so that you can see the hardware bolts in the back. It's hidden by the flange. So I really, really like this style of wheel because you get to do different finishes for the center face and the outer lip and it still looks like a, like a monoblock wheel just because of the hidden bolts. Obviously in this wheel, it's all in the same finish, but it still looks really, really good. It's got a little turbine twist to it. 24 inch, as I mentioned, on the Rolls Royce. That's really the, the best size for the Rolls, in my opinion. Some people could do 22s. Some people do 23s, but the tires in 23 are extremely expensive, um, even by Rolls Royce owner standards. So this is gonna look great. A lot of open space. We're gonna see the orange calipers refinished on it. So I'm definitely gonna get some footage of it rolling back to New York for you guys and get some customer reactions as well because these customers did find us uh, on YouTube and they wanted to do some work with us and meet me and all that good stuff. So once again, loving all the support and views from all you guys. Keep the comments coming. Alright, so we just got the brake calibers back from our refinisher. Looks very, very nice. You got all the pieces, all the brackets, and then the big boy front calipers. Rolls Royce in black. I got Eddie breathing down my neck here. He likes it. This ain't your neck, dude. He I'm likes it. Out, Eddie, we're supposed to practice social distancing, so. He, I'm he not does. trying to be social, but I am listening. <laughs> Go, get away. 
Oh, now here comes John. And he wanted Huey. Huey. No, he did not. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He put it on his gas tank. No, I asked him. I well, like, you want Rolls Royce and black? He said, yeah. No, he said Huey. He he wanted Huey. Huey. No. no, that's what you wanted him to want. John loving the. Coming over in our videos, always loving to destroy him. I'm gonna go into a Savage Garage video and be like, ah, he Good wants boy. Huey, oh. <laughs> Baby Huey over here. Since the gym's closed, uh, how much do you think this weighs? No, this is more than five, for sure. Either that or I'm weak. It's like 10 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. You do the whole squatting? Oh, yeah. Keep your back straight. I need probably like 20. Yeah, close. Brembo BMW, <coughs> Rolls Royce on it as well. Might as well just put everybody's name on it. Wheels Boutique, put everybody on it. So, you know, this is what I have to deal with. I got guys like Eddie coming in to ruin the video, guys like John from Savage Garage. I really am gonna get on their channel and just ruin all their videos from now on. So you guys remember this M850i? We had a couple of videos of it. It had some AC Schnitzer carbon fiber pieces, so it's back now for a couple of other things. This you can see here, just a piece of carbon, but AC Schnitzer actually makes a brake, uh, third brake lamp here. So it's gonna be really, really cool, and it's surrounded by carbon as well. So this piece is being removed to do the AC Schnitzer. It came back for the deck lid spoiler, and it also came back for the front spoiler, which, Looks like it's being put on right now. This is gonna basically complete everything because previously it had this, um, you know, really tacky black plastic on the bottom that didn't match any of the other carbon. Um, also, another thing that's been added since last time is the carbon mirrors here. I believe this was added as well. So basically, any any piece that can be put to carbon has been done on this car. Again, the HRE P101s in brush dark clear, the billet cap, you guys remember that, one of my favorite setups. And he's also getting the DME stage two tune. So if you see this car and you're an M8, be scared because we're gonna be adding about 150 horsepower to this. It'll destroy you, it'll destroy uh, F80s, you know, obviously ones that are not tuned, but this is gonna be a bad boy sleeper car.
Marcel looking good with the suicide doors. Damn, Marcel, you stunting, bro. Look at that. And the shirt that matches. What? That's nice. That's nice. So I came outside to film a car I'm about to show you, but I came out here and then saw fish whips. Everybody knows fish whips. We did the black 993 turbo. I said 996 wrong one time on the last video and people went bananas. So my apologies for mistakenly saying a 993 was a 996. I know the differences. I have a Porsche as well. There's a 991.2. I can tell because of this. So fish whips, we did his black 993 turbo. We're gonna do some wheels on this as well. Always a secret with fish whips. He doesn't want us to tell you what wheel model he has until it's on Instagram. And then this beauty here, 930 turbo in Minerva blue with H3 540s. Perfect lip size in the front, perfect lip size in the rear, 18 inch sizing, manual, the brown interior. I love this car, it's actually for sale. Check out our eBay page, Wheels Boutique and they have it listed for sale, I believe, with all the details on that. But the real reason that we're out here is the Rolls-Royce Wraith. It's finally finished. We got the brand new caliper color, front and rear, to match some of the other details that this customer has, like this pinstripe here, and uh, his favorite color happens to be orange, so it's almost like Randy from Savage Garage. But we got 24, 24 inch wheels HRE S204 H's. I know I showed you a little bit earlier in the video, hidden hardware. It's in the shadows right now, but when you have it out in the sun, it shines so much. It really, really matches the entire door handle here. I'm going to try my best to convince this customer of doing the lowering links. I think that that will be the final piece to the puzzle. Um, it got the brand new clear bra up front. What else we do? I try to convince him for a tune as well. So with these forced induction engines, you can increase the boost and get so much horsepower out of it. This thing would have destroyed um, a lot of cars. It would have been a sleeper car if I was able to convince him for the tune. But maybe when he comes back for, uh, for a second round of mods, we'll do that. So I'm sure it rides like a dream. Even with the 24s, the air suspension doesn't matter. You could have 26s on it if you wanted. But 24s is the largest size that H3 will make for a three-piece wheel. I think it looks absolutely perfect. Just with that little drop would have gone the extra mile as I mentioned, but this car is this car is perfect. I mean, just a stroll, a great car to drive down from New York where this car came from. And uh, I think I'm just gonna go down to Key West or find a place that isn't quarantined right now. So check out this door here and also it can never be too safe, but look at this pattern here. It lights up when you open the door. That is a crazy, crazy option. I wonder what wood that is. Now that John's here, big thanks to Detail Boutique who did the entire front clear bra on this car. Definitely need it if it's driving back up to New York. Otherwise, this would have been peppered with rocks. So shout out to those guys. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I want you guys to leave some funny comments because on the next video, we're gonna pick out a comment of the day and I'll talk about it a little bit. Ask me a question about the shop or, or, or you wanna see something more. We'll try and get some local customers back if you have seen a car that we've uh, spoken about or done before and wanna go expand on it. So leave the comments, hit the smash button, as I always like to say, and I'll catch you in the next one. Smash button. Yeah. One time I said hit the smash button and then I was like, that doesn't even make sense. So now it's a trademark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Boomer. Second okay Boomer dropped in our video series. Get off my lawn.